Between their investment from SoftBank, the US government, and more recently even from NVIDIA of all people, Intel have been given a new lease on life, and with it they really need to get more competitive, both of course in the enterprise sector, but of more interest to the people watching this channel, the consumer desktop CPU sector. So what exactly can we expect from the next big generation Nova Lake? Well, we have already seen some streaming manifests confirm that the flagship of this series will have up to 52 cores. Now while that can sound completely ridiculous, bonkers and insane for a regular chip that isn't AGDT, keep in mind that the way Intel this course now is a bit different, being split between performance and efficiency cores. And to make things even more confusing, Nova Lake will be bringing yet another new type of core to the desktop, the low power core, basically an even more efficient efficiency core. So with a combination of the three, we'll be getting up to 52 cores, however it'll only have a maximum of 16, what we'd call regular cores or performance cores, basically the same as the current AMD flagships. Now in terms of what the CPU will look like in detail, we recently got a confirmation that is going to be based on Coyote Cove performance cores as well as Arctic Wolf efficiency cores. So let's just hope that these CPUs are at least as exciting as those names, given how the last generation from Intel was an absolute snore fest. They will be based on a mixture of both TSMC's 2 nanometer process as well as Intel's highly infamous at this point 18A process. The one that has seen plenty of delays and which kind of reminds me of the jokes we used to have back when Intel was still stuck for 40 nanometer for what felt like a decade. You remember those times? Those are good times, back when the world was more sensible. Nostalgia for like 6 years ago aside, when exactly can you expect these chips to show up on store shelves, or more likely in your case on just Amazon or Newegg? Wow, it is going to be a while, given how we still have that Arrow Lake refresh still to come, and Nova Lake will most likely only grace us in the latter half of 2026 to directly compete with AMD's next gen CPUs. And as we already discussed on this channel before, you are going to have to get a brand new motherboard as well, given how these things will be on a brand new socket. So, I mean, is it fair yet to mock people who invested in the current Intel platform? Either way, I want to hear your thoughts on all of this down in the comments below. What are your expectations for the next big generation from Intel? Again, let me know all your thoughts down in the comments. And maybe check out a Patreon as well, because even a single dollar a month truly goes a long way. Plus, few ranks to Gavin Burns, just some rage, Gallo Vronyak, Bada Roka, Bada Harrison, not a pseudonym, Mix on the Anshin. Allcraft. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.